it can get extremely confusing all of the different tools that go into making up Google Chrome and we're gonna try to unpack some of these tools and straighten them out for you so that you understand what they are and what they do so we're gonna talk about apps extensions and add-ons let's start with a computer you have a computer a laptop a Chromebook whatever it is and then inside of that computer you use a web browser and in this case we're using the Chrome web browser and when you start using that Chrome web browser that's where the confusion begins what so the most common piece of Chrome that people are familiar with is apps apps is just short for applications and apps can be found in the waffle in the upper right hand corner this is true every time you open up a Chrome browser here's a view of some popular apps that are probably already a piece of your Google Chrome web browser so any apps that you have you can find them here just by clicking the waffle if you want to find other Chrome apps which are just basically shortcuts to different websites you can go into the G Suite marketplace and you can install different apps that you find inside of the G Suite marketplace it has it sorted for you by different categories so that you're going to be able to find exactly what you're looking for if you're just kind of browsing but you can search for a particular app in the top toolbar if you know exactly what you want when you find what you want you click on it and click install that will show up now in your waffle another place that apps are located with Google is in the Google Play Store Google Play was created for Android apps and it's not going to pertain to at least our computer and what we're doing today but any type of Android app can be found in the Google Play Store mostly games hence Google Play next let's talk about web extensions this here is the extension toolbar that will show up in the top of your Google Chrome browser these little icons when you put them into your Chrome web browser they add functionality to the actual Chrome browser itself it modifies the browser in some way that makes it easier for you how do we get these well one way is to go to the web store if you click on apps in the top left hand corner of your web browser and then go to web store that's one way to do it and this is what it looks like another way to do it is to hit the three dots in the top right hand corner go down to more tools and then extensions this is where you can manage your extensions that you currently have but you can also when we click on the left hand side open the Chrome web store right from here we can search the store by typing in the exact title of what we're looking for or we can just go ahead and search through what they currently have again they're broken down into categories so you can pick exactly what you're looking for if you're looking for something that's made by Google you can take a look and browse through what you want we're going to add it the exact same way that we added an app once we find the extension that we want we click on it we click add to Chrome we're going to add this extension and it should show up in our top toolbar if we wanted to remove it from Chrome we could come back to the web store and click remove from Chrome or we could right click on that icon itself and just choose remove from Chrome it's very easy to add or delete extensions so you can add something play with it maybe you realize you don't like it and then delete it let's swing back over now to the apps that have add-ons there are two types of add-ons one of them is for Gmail this is only going to extend the use of Gmail itself so inside of your Gmail you're going to go to the settings button and go down to get add-ons when you choose this option a window pops up our G Suite marketplace and it shows all the different add-ons that will work with Gmail you're again going to pick something that you like or that you'd like to try and go ahead and install for everything else 
it's going to be within the program itself. These are called editor add-on, and they extend one of the Google Drive apps such as Docs or Slides or Sheets or Forms. Let me show you an add-on with Google Docs. If I was trying to get an add-on inside of Google Docs, you'll see at the top, you will find a choice called add-ons. And when you go down to add-ons, you can see that I already have a couple of them but you're going to go down just like we did with Gmail to get add-ons. And then again, this is the place where add-ons are going to be allowed to be used with Google Docs. You choose what you want, and you're gonna click on the free button. And that will now show it inside of your add-ons inside of Google Docs. So here's our crazy map and hopefully we've started to decipher between apps and extensions and add-ons and knowing the difference between those three terms that live inside of our Chrome web browser. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast.